City 4, back at it again, represents Cerebral Cortex Reviews. Really different video today. Um, I'm hearing supplemental computing device. It's a power boost. SED for short. This is what I'm hearing Nintendo is going to add on to the Nintendo Switch shortly after launch or sh around the ballpark of launch. And this came, this leak came from a Neil Gaff user from Foxconn. We all know Foxconn manufactures switches and other Nintendo products, so it's definitely believable. Another way this is believable is because this same guy who works for Foxconn, this same Neil Gaff user, he accidentally released info in regards to the switch. He essentially said what the Joy-Cons were. He went as far as saying they're going to come with different color variants and other peripherals for that console prior to the actual topic of the switch so man that's listen it's a lot of credibility behind what he's saying and i'm going to follow it also some people are going to dispute this understandable they're going to say consoles don't really do that or some people are going to say how do we have proof nintendo is going to do this remember nintendo 64 they had the expansion pack the expansion pack with this small device and enhance the graphical prowess of the Nintendo 64. You just slap that thing on top of the system, inside the system, and you could play some hardcore games. Same thing with the new 3DS. I mean, it had new specs in it as well. But let's talk about extensions and add-ons. The 64, a lot of games you can even play without having that expansion pack. Also, let's look at my PC right here. This is the ASUS ROG G20. This also comes with a supplemental computing device right here. This thing is the GPU itself. And this is the NVIDIA GeForce 1070. So it's definitely possible. NVIDIA is known to do stuff like this as far as having computing device. But you guys are going to ask, what is Nintendo going to have? What are they going to you know bring to the plate as far as what they're going to have in this supplemental computing device it's saying right here according to one guy's opinion on youtube this guy is saying that the neo graph user is claiming that nvidia is going to power that thing by way of an nvidia 1060 graphics card 8 gigs of ram 3.5 teraflops that's epic right there i'm loving it if this claim is Valid, which I truly believe it is because NVIDIA hasn't released any current information on what they're going to have under the hood of the Switch. So if this is valid, this is going to be stronger than the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One. Don't mention the Scorpio just yet, y'all, because we don't know what the Scorpio is. I mean, they're kind of just speculating and kind of going along as they come. You know, so the PS4 Pro isn't running 1060. They're not running. They have 8 gigs of RAM. But man... This machine, if this is true, the developers are going to be hype about developing for this machine. They already sound like they're pretty optimistic about the machine and they really love the machine. They say it's easy. They say it's very revolutionary and they say they can't wait to put the mitts on there. In fact, developers have already started. You guys seen my last video. Tell me what you guys think. But the PS4 is beating the Switch with the 3.5 teraflops because they have 4 teraflops on the PS4 Pro. And they're saying the Scorpio is going to have 6 to 8 teraflops, so that's yet to be seen. But man, this machine, this Switch, is going to be epic. Expected to be about uh, two to $300 for that supplemented computing you know, device, that SCD. I'm logging out. Your boy Perplex. I love you guys. Thanks for the support. I'm out.